Okay, everyone, Randy here, and we're back for part two here of the barn Wi-Fi project. And yes, yeah, so far we haven't done much work out in the barn yet. Most of it's been up by the house here, and we're in the house here again, inside the house where the wires come in from the outside. So here's the big wire here, and there's the little one. That's one's got six in it. Uh, that is where the phone wire was going out. You can see the uh, termination ends there. But instead of using this wire, we're going to be using this bigger one here for everything now. And that terminates. It's terminated up on this panel here. Just some connections on it, nothing fancy up there. We're going to go ahead and get rid of those connections. I don't know why all the other wires are so much taller and the green ones are short, but okay, whatever, I guess. I think we'll probably just cut them down to the same length. Uh, my intentions are to put a jack on here. And then we'll, I got the uh, wire for running to the switch here, over to the router end. Yeah, I think I can put this up to the staple here. Yes, I can. Or just barely. Maybe not. There's a staple here that... There we go. I can probably cut some of this off. I don't think I need this to be this long. Something like that should be good. And then I'll just cut it off. Probably the length of that green wire there. Let's see, got my wire cutters here. Just a little bit long here, because I, I can always pull it down too. There we go. Those, I think I'll just leave those connected. I got a new wire here run from the connection block. So we'll go from the connection block. Oh, that's if I could run that through the staple too, couldn't I? Okay, well, maybe I'll have to get another staple here or something. And we'll run this up here for the phone wire. So then this one will be to the network. This one will be to the phone. And here's the phone connection block, by the way, phone line coming in. And then all the lines going out uh, to the outside here. That's the one that was going outside. It's not going to be this one here. It's going to be this one here now instead. And we're using the gray pair, which that appears to be the gray pair there. This is the, uh, or will be the DL cell in the line, this multicolored one. And then all the other colors here match up perfectly for network connections. So we'll be using them for that. So let's uh, make some cuts here a minute. Orange, white, like I said, I'm just going to cut these all off to the same height here. Actually, you know I'm going to cut these off up here because those are longer. So. white will trim off so hopefully they're all about the same length here that should work pretty good let's see there's there's the gray I want to separate that out and there's that we'll separate that out as well and these ends we'll put a jack on I'll put a jack on actually you know what let's see if I put a jack on this probably actually want this taller aren't I okay so I'm gonna want the jack probably to come around around Probably something like that. And I know you folks can't see that there, wire coming down like that. So let's go ahead and put the jack on this end here first. Get the little core thing out of there.
This is uh, category six, by the way. Go and the jack. Where did I put that? So here's the uh, jack we'll be using here. And we'll be using the B type. So B's on the bottom. So starting with solid blue. Solid orange. And I don't see solid green. Brown. And white brown. Okay. And we just need to terminate these connections here. Or push them in. Okay, I want the cutting end here. Depending on the type of jack here, sometimes it doesn't always cut them real cleanly. Did pretty good on those there. down and they're good. There we go. Termination's complete there. And where's the cap? Cap on. Jack complete. So like I said, that'll come down, hopefully, can you see that? Uh, let me see if I move the camera here just a little bit. That'll come down like that and connect to the wires there. So we just gotta put a jack on there now, which might be a little more difficult. So we're gonna make sure we separate those out. And let's see what's here. I got a couple jacks around here somewhere. Uh, let's see, strain relief. I got a strain relief cap. I don't know if it's going to do us any good, though. I guess we'll go ahead and put it on. Why not? Ideally, I'd like to see a little more wire on there than that. And again, we're going to go with a B-type connection. So, we'll kind of split these wires out a little bit. So, white, orange, orange, green, white, actually, you know what, I better be careful about this because these are not, the whites on these are not color coded. So, okay, let's make sure we do this right here, get the right white. Otherwise, we're really going to screw ourselves up here. Because like I said, the whites are white. So the, the white pair that goes with the orange here is white. The one that goes with the brown is completely white. The one that goes with the blue is completely white. And the one that goes with the green is completely white. So if I'm not careful here, I'm going to make this uh, not work well. So I'm going to skip the strain relief here just so I can actually see this.
that blue, blue white, or white blue. And then solid green. And making sure I'm holding on to these really good here so these don't go anywhere, because if they do, like I said, we're gonna be in trouble. One doesn't want to cut, of course. There we go. Into the jacket goes. Looks like we're good from what I can tell. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that is right. Like I said, because the uh, whites on there are not actually color-coded, that could be a problem. Okay, I terminated the new phone line connection here to the block here. We're just gonna be using the blue-white pair here. And I've got it marked up here, white I've got is red, and solid blue is green. Again, for those you know, most phone wires, they use red and green there for the phone color wire. Uh, this is category 3 phone wire here, so it's actually got all 8 wires in it. Not Ethernet rated, if I recall correctly. Just for a phone, so we're going to match the white to the white here, I think. And then again, we're using the gray-white pair for this. That's what we set up out in the box, if you'll recall. And I'm just using some of these splice connectors here for this. I suppose I could put a jack on it as well, but I don't, I don't think that'll be necessary. And two, I'm going to get something to probably hold that up there with. I won't need the remainder of these wires, so we'll just uh, fold them down and wrap them around. And then again, these will be going to the DSL connection. So, you know what? I'm going to actually wrap them back up. And I'm going to pull these out of the way. And again, we'll just match the colors here red to red and blue to blue. There we go. Of course, I always want to check and make sure these are terminated good. You can see the wires are all the way up in there. I don't know how I can see that on the camera or not. Probably actually can't, but make sure they're up in there good for good connections. And then this here, we're just going to bring this up and around. Connect it in, and then, like I said, I'll probably put some sort of staple or something up there to hold it up. And there we go. I think we're all set for the wiring on this part here. There again, I'll probably get some zip ties or something here to just keep this wiring a little more tidy, keep the strain off of it as much as possible. So there we go. We'll move on to the next part here. We gotta terminate this end for the switch. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and terminate the line here for the switch. And like I said, we'll just be putting in one of the uh, available ports here. Looks like the one down there is available, so we're gonna put it in that one. And about that link should be good.
Okay, just untwist the pairs here. Find it too carried away here. Go put a strain relief on too. Try to straighten the wires out the best we can. So we got white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Check that order here a minute. Yes, looks like it is correct. Okay. Make sure the wires are all the way up in there. Strain relief is on. There we go. Terminated. And plugged in. Actually, yeah, I don't see a reason why we can't plug that in. We should be able to leave it in now. Of course, there's nothing on the other end yet, but we'll be uh, solving that here in a minute. And actually, before I go outside, always a good idea to label everything, so we're going to go ahead and do that here in a minute. Let's see, we got 3 ace loaded in there at the moment. I think I got the wider stuff on all of it. So this is 3 quarters. Yes. Three quarters. Now, what should we call this? And we want to, and we can make this a cable type two. So we want wire cable. Fourteen ten, sure. That's probably about what it is. Let's see if that turns out right or not. We'll find out. If not, we'll uh, try to do it again. Okay, so uh, actually, you know what? I'm just going to call it utility. Uh, let's see, two utility, four barn. See what kind of label we get here. Yep, that's the kind of label I was thinking of. Let's produce. Okay, so we got one for there. Let's see what's here. We'll say from switch. Again, four barn. Oh, I guess I need to switch this to, uh, I thought it stayed in that mode, I guess not. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Should be all set for labels. 
I'll get these stuck on, and like I said, we'll be moving out to the barn to finish out up out there. Okay, folks, kind of been uh, debating back and forth on how I want to do this here. I uh, was considering putting up a new box. Um, I only have a six one, though I don't really need that many. But I was considering putting a new box up here, but I think I'm going to go with this box. I'm going to run the Ethernet wire up into this one, and then I'll probably run it up somewhere to wherever I mount the router. But yeah, like I said, I was considering putting an Ethernet jack and a phone jack in this one and running it different, but I think we'll leave it all in the box here. I'm pretty sure it'll all fit. Uh, so one thing we need to fix here first, we're going to switch the wiring around. It's no longer blue-white we're using for the phone. We're now using the gray-white. Not good, wire broke right off. Yeah, for some reason, I don't want to strip the. There we go. Phone should be reconnected. Actually, you know what? we can uh, test that here in a minute. I believe I got everything connected in the house for it. So, down phone, check. So, I think we're good there. Okay. That should be all set. Next, we're going to terminate a jack end on here. Same thing like we did in the house, just gonna use one of these again. And looks like we're gonna have to cut the wires a little bit shorter. So let me grab a wire cutter here a minute. We'll just snip them off so they're all the same length about. Okay. And actually, these are bigger wires, so hopefully they fit. They might not. There. Switch it from low to high. I need something a little bit better here to uh, push that up against. Okay, so we need green. Seems like it's working, so hopefully this will work. Okay, and then 
Okay, there's our jack. Uh, we'll run a Ethernet cord up through here, just in category six. That's kind of the plan there, by the way. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so we got the wire ran up in there. I think that'll work pretty good, hopefully. And, and again, the, I should probably mention too, the reason I didn't want to put the jack on the outside here, I didn't want it sticking out where it could get like knocked off or something like that. Just a little bit afraid of that happening out in the barn here. And yet, let's put this on here. Okay, and let's get these split up here. White, orange, orange. Green, white. Again, we're going with the B type here. B. Blue. Green, brown, white. Or white, brown, brown. Okay, there we go. Okay, so white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Okay, there we go. You can kind of look at the end of it there, see all that the wires are all in there. Make sure they're in all the way. Also make sure I put the strain relief in too. small little thing to wrap this around is what I need. Okay, I've got the wire kind of tucked in there. I don't know that I necessarily like that, but hopefully it'll work. If I don't, like I said, we'll just we'll put a jack up there with a separate phone jack and a separate Ethernet jack. Why there's a short and a long screw in here, but there's two different sizes. I 
Actually, I wonder, no, a long one, a long one to get in the way. Maybe it does. Okay, there we go. And for now, I'm going to leave this phone off. I do have another better phone in the house. Um, it doesn't, well, the phone part of it works, but it's got uh, wireless capabilities and all that stuff built in. Unfortunately, it's dead. It got hit by lightning. So I'm going to see if I can resurrect that one, and I'll put that one out here instead of this one. But uh, that'll probably be a different video. Okay, now we just need to run the wire. And like I said, I think for the moment, I'm going to set it up with a speaker there for the moment. We'll see how it works, and then I'll probably maybe build a shelf for it a little further away from the speaker, because it's probably not a good idea to have it right by the speaker like that. But for the moment, I think that's what I'm going to do with it. Okay, so like I said, we're just going to run the wire up to the speaker there. I'll probably leave myself a bunch of extra. I don't have to worry about it. No, like I said, I'll probably move it over here a little bit, or maybe I'll maybe I'll move it over there. We'll see once. Okay, so we'll uh, just terminate this end here a minute. Camera's probably not going to stay focused on it, but. And then or white orange. White green. blue, white blue, green, white brown, brown. And just kind of bring them all together there. And I just kind of flex them back and forth, try to get that bend out of them. So they'll be nice and straight when they go into the jack there. Do have a strain relief on already. Double check, white, orange, orange, white, Green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Flush trim them to the length of the jack. Some jacks are a little bit different, so I just kind of hold them up there and hold my fingernail at the end. Double check they all made stayed in place. It looks like they did. Take the jack. And white, orange, orange. White, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Slide it in. Make sure it's in good and tight. You can kind of see the ends there. Slide the strain relief in. Take your crimping tool. Crimped. There we go. Terminated. Ready to plug in. Okay, folks. I think that'll do it for this uh, video here. We got up by the house, outside the house, all set and connected, hopefully. We got inside the house, all connected, hopefully. And again, we'll have to test some of this stuff. Well, the phone we did test, so I'm pretty sure that works. Uh, we pretty much just need to test this yet. And I'll probably throw a tester on this here just before I actually plug everything in just to make sure it's all good. That way we know. And I need to run the wire up there yet. I'll probably just do that off camera though, just staple it up there. And like I said, I'm not sure. I might put it up here above, kind of by the door, or I might put it up here as well. We'll see once. And yeah, we just need to get the router set up. We'll do another video on that. So yeah, if you folks have any other comments or questions about this, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.